Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, we getting, 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 getting in the meat of the action here. Getting a little bit high on the Thanksgiving menu. I think I did turkey stock already. I had to do turkey stock already. Because you can't do this without the turkey stock. So this old school give the gravy. Uh, let me get a little history of this. It's the way my mom made it, but I elevated it to a next level and add a few more things to it, more than she would do. She didn't usually do fresh herbs. I started using fresh herbs and just elevated it to a next level. Other than that, nothing's changed the way she did hers. I, for the last maybe 15 years, I've been doing Gibbly Gravy at my job where I recently retired from. Last year, we made 120 gallons of this Gibbly Gravy. If I find the picture, I'm gonna show you a picture of me standing there staring in a big old 60 gallon pot. We had to do two of them, two batches, and a 60 gallon pot I was making to give the gravy. And I do it every year, even though I was in the purchasing, I would come out in the kitchen on Thanksgiving and kind of supervise, make sure it's good, because it's something that I, a lot of recipes that I uh, did, and I wanted to make sure they was done correctly, because it's really my name on it for what nothing done correctly. But give it a gravy was definitely one of them. So I'm gonna show you just like we do it at my job, where I implemented it there for the last 15 years. And I'm gonna show you very simple. So first thing I'm gonna do, I got giblets here. I washed them down. Now, these are chicken giblets. You can't find turkey giblets. By all means, use chicken giblets. It's the same thing, y'all. It's just a smaller giblet. Turkey and chicken is no different than the giblet. Or giblet, or gizzards. It's gizzards. If you go in the store, it's called gizzards, giblets. Same thing, y'all. So don't get confused. A lot of people get, what is giblet? What is, can I find turkey? Can I use chicken? Most definitely you can use chicken. It's the same thing. Okay, we're gonna throw these in here. Like I say, freshly washed. Let's see, make sure you got no bad one in there. I'm gonna take this little brown. See a little brown one? I'm gonna take that one out of there. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put our onions in here. Put our onions. Let me grab my garlic. Gotta have some garlic in there. Onions and celery. And we're gonna simmer this. I'm gonna put it up with water and we're gonna simmer this. Now you can put this in a pressure cooker if you want to, but I'm going old school tradition. I'm not gonna use my pressure cooker or nothing like that. Everybody ain't got pressure cookers. I'm trying to make it simple and easy as I can. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna put a little garlic in here. Gotta have my garlic. Alrighty, we're gonna fill this up with water. Hold on, y'all. Let me get situ situated here. We're gonna let this simmer. It's gonna probably take a couple of hours, y'all. On low, you don't want to boil it too high. But you know, good rapid boil there. Okay, let me move y'all over here. Now, this is about how much uh, much uh, water you're gonna put in it. Let me put it over here on the thing here. Now, I'm gonna let that simmer. It's gonna take a couple of hours. And then after it simmer, we're gonna come back. I got some eggs I'm gonna put in it at the end, but I'm gonna show you the next process after it simmer. First thing I need to do, I need to get them tender. These giblets, when they come back after they tender, I'm gonna take the giblets out and I'm gonna chop them up. And uh, cause then you can't eat them like that. So I'm gonna chop them up, I'm gonna put them back in there. I'm gonna make my gravy first, everything complete. Then I'm gonna put my giblets back in after I do the gravy. I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't, don't worry y'all, I'm gonna explain everything again when I get back. I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. On Thanksgiving, so I don't want to get too many videos and procedures mixed up. So we got our giblets in here, our gizzards, however you say it, and in here with the celery and onions and garlic. I don't put no salt and pepper, no nothing in it. Just like that. We're going to simmer these until they get completely tender. We come back, we're going to take them out, and we'll go to the next step. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Let's check the gizzards, giblets here. Look at that. And you see how that water has reduced down? And y'all probably caught that. Y'all probably said, why Chef Jeffrey didn't put the turkey stock in the gizzards as he was cooking them? That's why. I don't want to lose all my valuable turkey stock 
as my gizzards are cooking because I know all that liquid is going to reduce down. I'm going to use the turkey stock when I make my gravy from this. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take this out of here, these gizzards. One second here. Come on. Turn this off. And I'm going to take the gizzards out of here. I'm going to let them cool because I want to... Uh, let them cool and I'm gonna chop them up. You can put them in a blender you want to, but I just kind of rough chop them by hand because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want them too small. And I don't want them too big, so I control it better when I chop them by hand. So we're gonna get as much of them out of here as we can. Pretty much all of them. I don't want any in here, y'all. And that's all flavor down in there, y'all. It's all flavor in there. Now we're gonna add our chicken stock, chicken stock, turkey stock, same thing pretty much. Turkey stock to this. Got it on the side. Hold on just a second, y'all. I'm gonna move some things around here. Let me put my turkey stock over here close to it. <clears throat> Kitchen here, and we're gonna a nice rich turkey stock here. See that? One more here. There we go. And we're gonna turn this back on. Let that kind of come up the temperature here. While that's heating up, we're going to add our herbs, we're going to add our thyme, and our rosemary to this. Thyme and rosemary. Y'all with me here? Look at that. And let that cook down. I want them herbs to kind of cook about 10, 15, 20 minutes. And while that's simmering, we're going to uh, chop up my uh, giblets. And when we come back, we're going to tighten this up with some roux. Y'all know the rule that I always keep in my fridge, butter and flour. If you don't know what rule is, just search old school rule. I got a video on that. But somebody gonna ask what is rule, they always do. And I just tell them, search old school rule. And I got a video on that. So what I'm gonna do here, y'all, like I said, I'm gonna uh, let this come to a boil, simmer. See how pretty that is, y'all? You ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till I finish this up. We're gonna come back and we're gonna Tighten it up with some roux. We're going to add our gibbons back to it. We're going to hit it with some eggs and parsley, seasoned with salt and pepper. And we got some old school giblet gravy. So it's almost ready. The hard part is, the hard part is finished. Just doing the gizzards. So anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, y'all, let me cover up, cover what we got here. All the thing we got in here now, a little residual leftover from the, when I uh, simmered the, uh, the turkey, turkey, uh, uh, the giblets. I added some old school turkey stock to this. I added the herbs, thyme, rosemary, and sage in here. I got thyme, rosemary, and sage in here. Chopped fresh, fresh thyme, rosemary, and sage. That's the only thing in this pot right here. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add the giblets back in here. See how uh, small I cut them? See that? That's as small as I want them. I don't want them no bigger, no smaller than that. So I'm gonna put the giblets, the giblets, giblets, gizzards, however you wanna say it, back in there. So get that all in there. Look at that. See that? Now, now what I wanna do at this point, y'all, I wanna season it up and tighten this up with some roux. Cause I got two more items to put in there, which is the eggs and the parsley. But I don't wanna put that till it last. Because I don't want the parsley to get brown. I want the parsley to have that nice bright color at the end. And of course the eggs are already cooked. They just like a staple of the salad. People say, oh, you put eggs in giblet gravy. My mom put eggs in giblet gravy. I don't know why. I do it because she did it. And that's why I'm doing it. And speaking of my mom, y'all, Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. Because I used to see my mom, she'd be like <coughs> 12 o'clock in the morning 
and you could hear my mom in the kitchen still rattling pans and getting pies ready and and dressing you could smell a, a smell of celery when i smell celery boiling it's always thinking i'm not a big celery fan only time i eat celery usually in dressing and this gravy i don't use a lot of celery in my cooking i'm just not a big fan of it i don't like the taste of it but just smelling of the celery and onions and all that sage it just it just reminisce of our house how it smelled on thanksgiving the night before thanksgiving all the fresh pies she made she was amazing she was definitely an amazing cook and i would hope i can ever be half the cook that she was okay all right now y'all i'm gonna season this up with salt and pepper i'm gonna do little by little i ain't gonna put a lot because i'm gonna try to taste as i go because remember the the stock is very well seasoned but it still need a little bit more salt and pepper to it so let me taste it here and see how it tastes and y'all see on thanksgiving as you see by these recipes i don't skimp skimp on nothing everything is homemade it's a lot of work but it's worth it for thanksgiving for your neighbors and friends a little bit more salt and pepper i don't use nothing out of a can all that playing around in the summer using the canned goods and all it by no i put all the way november december it's all about from scratch and like i told y'all i'm gonna try to find a a picture oh wow this tastes good that's it i don't need no more salt and pepper um last year when i was at my job i recently retired from and i'm making 60 gallons of this stuff this right here but in a 60 gallon form it took a hundred and 20 pounds of turkey gizzards. That's how much it took to make that. Okay, now, we got that going. What I need this to do, y'all, I need this to come to a boil. It's gonna take about two or three minutes. I need this to come to a boil. Then I got my roux here. You know the roux I tell y'all to make ahead of time? Put it in the refrigerator. I got my roux here, and we're gonna tighten this up with roux, little by little by little. But I need this to be completely boiling pretty much. And then we'll add our roux. So anyway, we'll be right back. We almost finished, y'all. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now, we can start adding our roux to this. Let me get a big spoon here. Put my roux right here next to me. And we're going to add a roux a little at a time. Not a lot. I'm trying to stir this in there, y'all. Let it stir it in there just like this. Because I don't want it too thick. Y'all already know. Of course, I don't want it too thin either. So you can always add to it, but you can't take it out. So we're going to kind of see how it's thickening up already. And I'm going to show you how thick I got it. And another thing, y'all, I'm going to show y'all here. Don't think, okay, that's too thin. And then later on, once you think it's too thin, uh, too thin, that's when you start. What's going to happen when this stuff gets cold? Say like me, I'm gonna put it in the freezer. I'm gonna freeze this. I'm gonna need it later on for Thanksgiving. Uh, once you thaw it out, it's gonna that roux gonna kind of straighten up a little bit more. It's gonna be thicker than it was when you first put it in the cooler, or put it in the refrigerator, or put it in the uh, freezer. So you don't want to make it too, 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 too thick. Now you're gonna have to thin it out. So it's a thin line. Like I said, it's a thin line between love and hate. Okay. Get me to singing, y'all. I just love, love, love cooking Thanksgiving dinner, y'all. Y'all can't tell about excitement because it's homemade cooking. Even at my job, I was like I was telling y'all, um, I was in purchasing for the last 12, 13 years of my uh years there. But in Thanksgiving, I had to put my chef coat on and my apron, get in the kitchen, kind of show the we like I say, show them kids how to do it. And when they see me coming in, or if I was in the office, they would come in there and they make it something. They did not finish and put nothing up until I actually tasted it and approved it. Yeah, because all the recipes that they were using, the glazed sweet potatoes, the, the cornbread dressing, giblet gravy, the candy yam, all that stuff, macaroni and cheese was my recipes. And they had to make sure that it was approved by me before they put it up and cooled it down. All right, y'all, y'all see how that's thickening up? I'm going to put a little bit more roux in there, y'all. Just a little bit more roux. Another, 
another spoon pull here. Like I say, y'all, make a big thing of roux, y'all, and put it in the refrigerator. I told you before, especially for Thanksgiving, because you're going to need it for your cheese sauce, your gravy here, and whatever other kind of gravy you might want to make. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look at that. Coming along just good. You can just smell the fresh. It's amazing. You can just smell the fresh herbs in here, y'all. You just smell the fresh herbs. So I'm going to step off again. Like I say, y'all, y'all probably say, oh, this takes too long. This is worth it. I'm telling you, if you make this for your family and your friends, I've had people tell me before, that's the best way. I'm telling you, they will think you're the best cook in the world. And you know, you guys from Chef Jeffrey, you ain't got to give me credit. You don't want to. So, yeah, just uh, I'm going to step off again, y'all, and let this simmer. I need to get that root taste out of here. And then we're going to add three more items here. Two items and one little secret ingredient I'm going to add. Y'all going to see what it is. And that's going to be it for this Joe School Ghibli gravy. So, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back here. All right, y'all, the final few steps. I'm going to turn it down here. Another thing, make sure y'all do this in a thick bottom pot. Do not make this gravy in a thin bottom pot. You've been watching me long enough. I'm already adamant about that. If not, you're going to ruin your gravy. You're going to scorch it. You're going to burn it. And all that work, making that beautiful stock and all that stuff and Rick. You just gonna ruin all that with a scorch gravy. Ain't nothing you can do to fix it. Once you scorch this, ain't nothing you can do. Okay, y'all. Now the finishing touches on this. Now we're gonna add our eggs to this. That's southern thing, y'all. Y'all lot of people up east wondering why I just put eggs in there for. That's a, that's a southern thing, y'all. All right, got my eggs in there. Now we're gonna put our parsley in here, y'all. That's going to give it that nice color at the end. Look at that. How pretty that is. There we go. And one little thing I do here, y'all, to give it a little body. I put a little heavy whipping cream in it. Not that much. That's going to get that gravy, that body. I'm like, wow, what that, what's that body? That's it right there. See how it? It's going to give it that extra creaminess. And people are gonna be wondering at your house, how you get it so creamy? How you we know. We know. Look at that. How pretty that is, y'all. That's gonna go good over some cornbread dressing. That's gonna good go good over some uh over a piece of turkey. And we're gonna give it one more taste, y'all. And that's gonna be pretty much it for this. I'm gonna get more late on show y'all how thick it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It just tastes so amazing, especially with the fresh herbs, y'all. It just it just makes a difference. Please don't put dry herbs in this. Please go get fresh herbs. It's just a game changer. It's like night and day. Okay, y'all. Now, let me get my ladle here. I'm going to turn it off. It's off now, so make sure I don't burn my gravy. I do what I told y'all not to do. All this work for nothing. Okay. out here. That's as thick as I want that gravy. See that? It's as thick as you want the gravy right there, y'all. Because once it's cooled down, this gravy is going to get a little thicker. Tomorrow morning, after you let it sit out here in the morning morning, and you get the, you check it to put it in the refrigerator, it's going to be thick. So you don't want it no thicker than that right there. Look at that. Old school give the gravy. Very simple, y'all. Everything I do is from scratch. This is definitely from scratch. And like I say, y'all, stay tuned. I got a lot of more videos coming this month before Thanksgiving. So I don't know which 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 this day this gonna come up, but uh glad to get to snow with and get on to something else. Cause behind the scenes, y'all, I'm doing four videos in one day. So I'm up till can't see the can't see. Behind the scenes. I get up at six in the morning and I probably finish been doing video at eleven o'clock at night right now. So oh, yeah, I'm that committed and that excited right now. Right now it's 11.30 and I've been up since 5.30 this morning and I'm still, still energized. So anyway, y'all, let me, let me close this video out because there ain't, ain't no taste testing than just what I did. So if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. 
And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, 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 blessed Thanksgiving. I love each and every one of y'all. See y'all later. Bye.